Hi right, guys, hope you're all doing good. Today we're going to talk about compound Boolean expressions. So we know that a Boolean expression is basically something like 7 is greater than 1, okay? And we know that another Boolean expression can be also uh, 6 equals equals 5, okay? Now those are two different Boolean expressions, right? What if we wanted to connect between them and make them one big Boolean expression? Okay, we have different operators to do that. Okay, we have the OR operator and the AND operator. This is called the AND operator. Okay, and this is called the OR operator. Right? So, what is the AND operator and how do we connect between those two Boolean expressions? Okay. Well, we have something like this right here, the 7 is greater than 1, which evaluates to 1, or true, right? And we have something here that is 6 equals 5, which evaluates to false, right? Okay, now, if this was one whole expression like that, okay, and we, we needed to place one of these, like either the or or the and, in between. Let's put the and for now. Okay, now we've built a compound Boolean expression. But how do we solve this Boolean expression? Well, with this AND operator, what happens is we evaluate this one first, we evaluate this one next, okay, we get the results 0 and 1, and then 1 and 1. Does that give me an, a 1 or a false? So we have true and false. Is that a true or a false? Okay, so for the AND gate, the way it works, or the AND operator, the way it works is basically both of them have to be true in order for the whole expression to be true. Okay, so we, in order to get a 1, a result of 1 in, in the whole, for the whole expression, okay, to get a, a result of 1 for this whole expression right here, we would have to have a 1 for this one and a 1 for this one. And of course, if there were more expressions, we would have to have all of them be ones, okay? Every every single one in that um, pair of parentheses. Okay, so for this one, we have this pair, like right here, okay? In it, we have two expressions, two Boolean expressions, and this is one, and this is zero, and there's an and between them. This is true, this is false, and because one of them is false, then the whole thing is gonna be false. So this results in a false. So if we were to print this right here, it'll give us a fault. Okay, a false. Sorry. Okay, so let's try that out and see if that's true. So C out this whole thing, and we want to put it in parentheses like that, and semicolon. Okay, so this should be false or zero, right? Um, start without debugging, and we debug it, and then we get basically it takes a while, and um, and then here you go it's simply a zero which we predicted that because you had a one for this one a zero for this one and we have an AND gate or an AND operator and an AND operator basically means that both ends of the whole operation have to have a one or they both have to be true in order for the bigger expression to be true okay that's for the AND gate now if this was true of course true and true would give us true False and false would obviously give us false. And true and false would give us false. False and true would give us false. Okay. Anyways, what about the OR gate or the OR operator? And the OR gate you get by hitting shift and the uh, backward slash above the enter button, right? So two of those. And that's the OR gate. Basically what happens is it's going to give us a uh, true right now if we debug it. And um, if we if we want to think about it, the uh, let's debug it first. Okay, so start without debugging. Yes, and uh, we wait for it to run, and it gives us a one. Okay, so we have a one. So the whole expression is true, but that's because the OR gate doesn't operate that like the AND gate. It does not require both of the uh, both of the you know 
sub expressions if you will to be true in order for it to be true okay what happens is basically if one of them is true then the whole statement is true because it's an or it's an or gate like the naming of it you know gives it away it's really easy so if this is true or this is true then the answer is going to be true okay so that's why this evaluates to be true okay so basically that's kind of what compound um, Boolean expressions are and the reason we've been studying Boolean expressions is because in my next video I'm going to talk about if statements and if statements are basically going to require conditions and those conditions are going to be the Boolean expressions okay so uh, yeah you know make sure you understand the the uh, true and false terminology of you know if it's an or gate or an and gate or an operator and yeah so anyways again the and gate is basically and is this one two shift sevens right and then the or is basically this one okay it's two shift um, backward slash right so yeah and we, we said for the or gate one of them has to be true in order for the whole expression to be true while for the AND gate both of them have to be true for the whole expression to be true okay just know that and um, if, if you can't really comprehend it that's okay we're gonna talk about it in detail in the next video bye